U.S. forces are using artificial intelligence to find targets for their recent airstrikes in the Middle East. They're relying on an AI-enabled platform known as Maven Smart System. It uses machine learning algorithms that can teach themselves to find things like rocket launchers, missile silos, and vessels with the help of computer vision and other data streams. It's the culmination of a Pentagon effort to bring AI to combat that started in 2017 with the launch of Project Maven. It was controversial even in the early days. In 2018, thousands of Google workers protested being involved in what they called warfare technology. I met Vice Admiral Trey Whitworth, a Navy intelligence officer who has spent three decades in targeting. He heads the agency that's now in charge of improving MAVEN, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. They're developing the system amid growing worries over the many mistakes AI systems can make, such as being poisoned, losing accuracy over time, or relying on faulty data. You're gonna to have to make sure that the training data has a person that ensures that it's good training data and that we're not getting bad training data to learn to have at least the machine make the wrong recommendation. So I like the direction that we're heading. If it's principled, we're good. He insists that with the right safeguards, AI can help humans do their jobs better, faster, and more accurately, even when it comes to warfare. The recommendation is only a recommendation, not a decision, for applying force against the wrong thing. And I hope that it only refines our ability to protect non-combatants.